Hi, everybody. This is Pastor Susan, and welcome to another day of devotions as we are considering what it means to be loving, to be loving, and to consider how our words and our actions reflect what we say it is that we believe about love in the world. Um, we're wrapping up our Do Unto Others series, and I pray that this has been just such a blessing in your life as you're considering how God calls us to be in a world that is not kind and sometimes um, is, leaves us wondering whether anything can ever change. Well, I want to begin today with a quote by Norman Vincent Peale, um, who once wrote, change your thoughts and change your world. Change your thoughts and change your world. And here's what I wrote. I wrote a story that um, that I love because it's of a dear friend and something that happened in their life. So a friend recently told me of a time when she had gallbladder surgery. They removed a stone about the size of a large walnut shell. That's huge, right? The reason she knew the size was because they actually gave her the stone as a keepsake. Her hospital roommate also endured the surgery, but instead of one, she had three small pea-sized stones removed. When the nurse brought them to her, she had them in a little cup and said, here, this is for you. And she walked out the room. That's all that was said. The woman took one look at the cup, grabbed the water bottle, and proceeded to swallow the contents of the cup. Did you get it? We can waste a lot of time on this earth allowing the pain of unforgiveness and bitterness and self-centeredness to control our lives. Sometimes we want a quick fix, a, a surgical removal of those painful realities. Unfortunately, though, we have a difficult time letting go of them. Even when God has made a way through Christ for us to get rid of those things in our lives, we either hang on to them as trophies or we re-ingest them because that's all we can think of to do. Albert Einstein once said that if the insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. We may not like something about ourselves, but we are, until we are willing to do the hard work of creating new practices in our lives, we will be trapped in the web of self-deceit. So, how can we change our thoughts so that we can be freed to change our lives and our world? First, come clean with yourself and with God about what needs to change. This is sometimes hard because we don't want to wait to face the, re we don't want to face the reality that part of the problem might reside within ourselves. This practice is called confession. Second, Ask yourself, what would Jesus do? You might not know, so find out. Read the scriptures. Pray. Determine that you will learn the path of discipleship. And then turn your sights and your steps to follow that path. Romans 12, 2 says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds, so that you may prove what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect. Be transformed and then transform your world by filling your mind and your heart with God's will and God's way. Don't hold on to the trophies just to, or keep taking the same old stinking thinking that keeps you stuck in the muck of painful prisons that God wants you to free, be free from. Change your thoughts and change your world. Change your life because God wills it for you and for me. And I want to conclude with our passage of scripture today from, um, it's from Proverbs. And, you know, these are little one verse sayings, but this one is a good one. Proverbs uh, 15, 24. Sorry, no, it's 16, 24. Thank you. Pleasant words are like the honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. How our words reflect what is in our hearts is what it is what it's all about, friends. And in this time when we 
are called to be peacemakers. In this time when we are called to do unto others as we would have them do unto us, especially when there's division and there's harsh words being given, the words that you and I use can be that one moment, that one place in which God has the power to move us into loving relationship. So that may that be so in your life and may it be so in my life this day and every day. In the name of Jesus who shows us the way, amen and amen.